So we made it out here to Polly's Island, South Carolina. It's a little rainy, a little overcast today, but we're gonna film anyway. We wanna have a nice relaxing day on a beach. That's our sole purpose for being out here today. We don't have any particular species that we're going for. We're just gonna throw a bunch of bait in the water and hopefully we hook up with something. We're gonna go ahead and get set up. Stay tuned. set up we're sitting here gonna listen to some music have a couple drinks enjoy the scenery the sounds and watch the rods hopefully we catch something I'd like to get something on film for you guys today unlike our last video where uh, you know we struck out at the Waccamaw River in Conway Kaylee caught her brim and that's about it today we're hoping for something we could put a little uh, food on the table with little table fare so to speak 
So we just sit and relax. What started off as a rainy, drizzly, overcast, nasty looking day actually turned out to be pretty good. Still overcast, very little sun in the sky, but it's warm. I want to say probably about 75 degrees, maybe even a little warmer than that. Um, I'm just sitting here beating up a little bit. Light wind blowing through. It's really a gorgeous day to be on the water. All right, let's check these lines. They've been sitting in the water for a while. We're gonna go ahead and check to see if there's still bait on it and rebait if we need to. Um, maybe try something different. Right now we have uh, live mud minnow on there. And if nothing's hitting it, we're gonna go ahead and try some shrimp or some dead mullet. Let's check it out. they call that seaweed seaweed fish that's dumb i'm dumb i'm
I'm a stupid head. Both gone. Look at that. They don't just jump off of there by themselves. Biting, I ain't got nothing yet. Nothing yet. Yeah, I just started working a. Uh, I just started working an artificial though, so we'll see. Okay. We've been letting them soak while we're sitting. Yeah. We're letting them soak. We haven't had. We had a couple bites maybe. Um, so I decided to try to work an artificial. Well, that might work. It might. Yeah, give I'm it hoping shot. so. Right. They call it fishing for a reason, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. That's the way it goes. Yeah, this is the ideal for me. But that, that's a private deck. No, but see, you got in all the way down. Yeah. That's a private deck. Yeah. But you can't go out there. Well, at least I know how to get out there. Yeah. I'm going to go fishing. You can't go out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you had a bite? Yeah, and I felt it, and I was waiting, but it took it. Got one, babe. Yeah, the camera's on. You just have to watch it. Nice flounder. Good. Nice flounder. Wow. Look at the size of that puppy, That's huh? A crab. Hell yeah. That's nice, babe. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Uh -uh. Good job, babe. Ain't going back in the water. <laughs> He's so slimy. I know. That's Look at that. A nice one. Southern having, flounder. I know what we're huh? having for dinner. We're having flounder for dinner, baby. That's a nice flounder wow, right there. That's huge. It's probably the biggest flounder I've ever caught. He's a stud for sure. Can you do me a favor and um, bring me the little lip grips so I can wash them off and throw them in a the cooler? Look at that puppy. They're right on top, babe. On the top loop. On the top loop of the backpack. Huh? I'm not going to lose them in the water. We good. I don't know where to hook them. Right in the mouth. Right here? Open his mouth up. Get to open it first. There you go. Oh, wait. Get him in there. Am I in his mouth? You're like in his gill part. There you go. <laughs> Fucking little teeth. Other man. way, other way, babe. Yep, way. there you go. Yep. I'm close. Okay. There we go. You wanna. Oh! See, that's what I'm afraid hold of, on, is he's on. gonna. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're good. He ain't going nowhere. Alright. I got Don't his tail. Man. I got his tail. I wanna take a picture of him. Yep.
There we go. Nice southern flounder. I'm gonna go ahead and measure him up right now and um, see how big he is. He's over the slot, or not the slot, but the legal limit. So he's coming home for dinner for sure tonight. Good. Good? Yeah. All right. I got you. I got the regular and then I wanted to get a live So now I got to run and grab the cooler. You want to stop? Yeah. All right. So legal limit, South Carolina, is 15 inches. We are looking from the point of the tail to the tip of the jaw, 22 and 7 eighths inches. That's a decent flounder right there. The biggest one I've ever caught was like 18 inches. So I uh, was gonna make some, for some decent fillets and uh, gonna make for a decent dinner. I'm excited. You! For those interested in what caught that flounder, this is what I'm using. It's no secret, really. It's a red boxing glove jig with a clear and silver flake DOA paddle tail. It's no secret. I don't know what the name is on the DOA paddle tail. It's not like they paid me to advertise it or anything like that. Um, what I can do is probably put a link to it in the description below and let you guys see for yourself. Let's sit down and relax. Yeah. Some of you might be wondering what 843 is. What is the meaning behind 843? 843 is the area code in South Carolina. A few years back, 2014, I decided to create a Facebook page. That's where all this started and call it 843 Fishing to kind of try to bring the community together to share their pictures, to share their reports, and to share their experiences together. Um, I decided to bring it to a website, which I've had for a few years, but I have recently taken the website down to restructure it and to reconstruct the whole thing. Um, so there is no more 843fishing.com. I still own the domain name, but I haven't done anything with the website here recently. But I did have the YouTube channel where I would put some smaller videos on and I decided to branch out and bring you better videos, which I'm doing right now. So um, it's been a pretty cool experience. Fishing and videoing at the same time has been proven to be very difficult, but uh, we've been getting it done. One of the segments that I wanted to bring you guys, being that this is a local page and local to South Carolina, is I wanted to bring you some local craft beers. I love beer. I'm a big beer drinker. I don't want to say alcoholic, but I'm a big beer drinker. I, I like to indulge in a couple beers and some craft beers and, and try all the different flavors and see what people got going on. So one of the things I wanted to bring to you is local craft beers as a segment while I'm fishing. I mean, let's face it. We're out here enjoying this beautiful scenery, fishing, enjoying the weather. You know, today it really started rainy, dark, gloomy. It still is kind of dark and gloomy, but the rain has subsided and uh, it, it, I mean, it's pretty much gorgeous out here. 75 degrees, you couldn't ask for better, better weather. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this beer and we're gonna see how it comes out. So what we're trying today is the Cooper River Brewing Company. It's a golden ale. It's 4.6 alcohol and 19 IBUs, so it's not too bitter. And like I said, it's a golden ale, so it's gonna be pretty smooth. Let's take a look at the can here. Hope you guys can see that. Pretty gnarly looking can. It's out of Charleston, South Carolina. Local to the 843, so it's right on our uh, Right on our scale with 
as far as our segment goes, local brew. Let's go ahead and give it a try. It is, it's very light, very smooth. The bitterness is down low. Um, you could drink this at a party, a gathering with friends, um, something you could drink all day long. You know, I like IPAs, I like um, American Pale Ales, but sometimes they get a little too bitter. Um, this right here is, being it's only 19 IBUs, um, it's actually really smooth, really good. I like it, I enjoy it. I'll be buying some more of it. Throw my feet back, relax and watch these rods. Hopefully we catch something else. All right, so we're gonna sign off here. The only fish we caught today was that 23 inch flounder. We've had a few other bites, but nothing to brag about or to film. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, sign off, call it a day, head home, lay that flounder we got, and um, go ahead and fry them up.